working. I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Seeing a police sergeant treat his chief this way is just one of the shocking cases we dive into today. 17 mistakes made by 17 dirty cops getting exposed 17 times. Here we go. October 9th of 2023, several police officers responded to a crash on Main Street in Bradley Beach. However, things took a turn for worse when police chief Leonard Gita arrived on scene in civil clothing. What is it? The arm, eh? I am not the police, okay? I came here with the ambulance. I want to make sure you're okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I'm asking you if he's our man or not. Oh, yeah, no. What? Yeah. I get that. I'm not saying you aren't. I just want to make sure your head is giving okay. Them he's giving them problems. He's giving them problems. to be aware of. I can't get any. Can you tell me your Chief. first name at least? Why do you get a, sh a jacket on that, that's not fit to be worn? What's on the back of it? What do you mean? Look at the tell me what's on the back of it. Oh, uh, it, it washed off. Yeah, then get rid of it. Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. You're a sergeant, for God. Okay, Chief. Let me work this TWI, okay? The Chief embarrassed the sergeant in front of the other cops and clearly looked drunk. Continuing to humiliate the sergeant, it's time he was taught a lesson. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Over here. Chief, I'm on a DWI. Get over here. I'm on a DWI. Chief, I'm working. Get, get I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You have a problem? You grab me! What? Now get out of here! Before you get a problem. Take it. No, you're gonna go in. Get out of here. Chief, get out of here or you're gonna get locked up. Chief, you're gonna get locked up. You're grabbing me. I asked you three times to leave me alone. You're obstructing my DWI. Let me go. This is the first thing. Don't, I'm, I'm trying to get away from everybody. Up, shut up, because you're in trouble now. Stop. No, I'm Please, not stop. in trouble. Stop, I'm not stop, trouble. stop. You're going to be in trouble. Stop, stop, Billy, in trouble. Billy. Chief, I'm Billy, working at DWI. I'm listening to you. Chief Gita didn't learn from the previous incident, as he kept on making matters worse for the sergeant, who had a traffic stop to attend to. No, you're in trouble, because this is the first thing. First, first of all, I was about to say to you, you stupid. I was about to say to you, what do you need? OEM for you're that's you're embarrassing me in front of the men no, about the jacket. No, 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 no. That's that's neither here nor there. Okay. That that's neither here nor there. Now we got a fucking problem, Billy. Yeah, we do. I know. We I do. Know. All right, you're gonna have to go inside. No, how about we do no, this? No, 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 no. But we go Billy, inside, Billy. You're gonna have to go inside right now with me. You're gonna have to go inside and and we're in a be, serious collision. Billy, you're not doing anything when I'm on the scene, okay? You should know better than this, my friend. No. Listen you to me. Grab me. No, I said come over line. here. You're out of line. You grab me. It's on Billy, video. Billy, it's on video. I'm Billy, not going to argue with it. I have a crash Billy, to work. Billy, I have a job Billy, to do. you're okay? relieved. Billy, you're relieved. Okay. You're relieved. No, 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 no. Billy, you have to understand something. You're relieved. Billy, you're relieved. Go in the headquarters and wait for me. Yes, yeah, so I'm going crash. No, no, Billy. You're relieved. I have Billy. officers here, Billy. right here. They Billy. could get waffled because my car is Billy. blocking it. Billy, you're relieved. No, Chief. No, Billy. Please, Billy. Don't. You're suspended, Billy. I'm you're suspended? suspended? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm suspended. Yeah. I'm going home. Yes. Billy, come here. I'm going home. You're going, I, no, we you're can't you're talk. Home. I'm suspended. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm suspended. I'm you're going, going to home. And you're going to wait for me there. No, I'm not. You're I'm gonna suspended. Go you're gonna go I'm going home. You're going to go in the headquarters and wait for me there. Let me work my crash. No, no, this no, is why no, I'm no here. Billy, you're suspended. All right, if I'm suspended, then I'm not going to wait inside. Nothing more to say. No, no, Billy, you have to. <laughs> yes, let me explain. Billy, you're suspended. The chief then went over to talk to another officer, trying to justify his actions. Wait for me in there. That's an order. Can you do me a favor? Can you put your car? Where my car is, so our officers and first aid don't get run over, yes, please. Thank you. Billy suspended. See what happened. 
there. Yes, Chief. What did what happened? Some type of exchange between you and Sergeant Major. Well, we're going to talk about that later. Everybody's got that. Really, really suspicious. You already got this. What do you have here? What do you have? I'm uh, trying to figure that out, Chief. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm oh, after everything, the chief returned once again to the sergeant and this time attempted to calm him down. All of this is starting to look a bit bizarre. Hi, I'm in there. The door. Yes, you're gonna meet me in there. Go and put the door to me right now. There's nowhere to put her, she's gonna ruin things. Okay, we'll leave her in there. Go in. Go in. I'm going. I got people on the road. I wanna make sure they're safe. I don't want to run you over, so watch no, out. No, 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 come on. Go ahead. You know I love you. Come on. I know. What? Yeah, what no, the fuck is wrong with you? Stop. Billy. Why would you stop. do that to me? Stop. Billy. Stop. <sighs> You've got enough problems already. Please. Okay. <laughs> Soon after the incident went viral, Chief Gita was placed on administrative leave. Just a few days later, he announced his retirement, which came six months earlier than scheduled. Sergeant William was reinstated back to his position and was allowed to resume his job. While Chief Gita's karma didn't come instantly, the same cannot be said for the following police chief. But he is now trying to record me, it appears, while I am filing a complaint, which is an intimidation attempt, and I believe that's a class, what, three felony? A female auditor who goes by the name Accountability Angel conducted a First Amendment audit of the Sandwich Police Department. As she entered the building, she was confronted by enraged police chief James Bianchi. Hello. Hi, turn it off, please. Why? Because I don't want to get a camera. And what's your name? Why are you approaching me? Okay, good for you, man. Did I, did I not tell her what I needed? Why are, what is your name, sir? Ma'am, what can I do for you? I already discussed it with her. And she came to me, I'm her supervisor. What and what'd she say? Why are you aggressive? What's your name? Who's can you identify? My name's Chief James Bianchi. You're the chief? Yes, I am. Can you please step back? No. Please turn the camera on. Without your mask, you need to step back. No, I do not. There's no law that says I have You're the mask. chief and you're behaving this way. Look, with if I reach out, I would touch you. No, you couldn't. Yeah. I would put in my pocket. What can I do okay, for you? Okay, I'm backing up and I'm asking you not okay. to step closer. What can I do for you? Stop stepping closer to me. What can I do for you, miss? Did she tell you what I was here for? She Can I speak to you? I don't want to speak to him. He's being aggressive with me. Sergeant? Sergeant? Sergeant, just go back. Well, I'm requesting to speak to somebody that's not you. Well, I'm it. I'm as high as you get here. Chief Bianchi came out aggressive from the start and wasn't afraid to make it clear that he was not listening to what the auditor had to say. Supply pens, can I have your last name, sir? Can you identify? My name is... Have a nice day. I've said it twice already. Have a nice... You said you were the chief. I know that makes your balls feel heavy, but, uh... No. Wendy, may I have a pen, please? Have a nice day. I'm conducting my business. You need to get away from me. Don't ever step up on me again. Shame on you for being the leader of this department, acting the way you are. I'm here to file an officer complaint, and you're trying to intimidate me. You're trying to intimidate me. I'm here to take your office take your complaint. She told I don't want to be near you. The second you came out that door, the second you came out that door, what'd you do? What'd you do? You escalated it, didn't you? I was kind to her. Wasn't I? Ma'am, have a nice time. No, she told me to use this phone. I'm going to use the phone. Actually, come here. Come here. I want to show you some problems I got. All right, come here. Come on. Come on. So Mr. Going? Chief, come here. Well, are we going to continue with your complaint? No. Oh, Did that's separate. I'm not complaining to you. I refuse to complain to you. Okay. I want you to look at your American flag. What about it? Look at it and tell me if you think it should be tattered that way and displayed. That's something I brought up to her in a professional, kind way. The chief kept blocking her way and wouldn't let her pass. Even the auditor begins to get tired of this. Shame on you, dude. You're going to lose your job one of these days. You know what? Last sheriff I told that to, guess what? He's not the sheriff anymore. You want to know why? Because you're doing the same sh**. You're f***ing ballsy. You know that? You ain't married, are you? Oh, yeah. Your poor wife. Poor thing. Why don't you guys clean up the nasty lobby instead of harassing me? Why don't you Carry your American flag, it's all tore up. Or that one. Look how proudly you present that one. I've already shown my camera. Look how proud you present that. Are you ashamed of yourself or what? Did you serve in the United States military? For this shithole department. 
Are you kidding me? I hope your officers are better than you. Clearly some of them are. All right, so the chief, uh, tiny over here, he um, continues to harass me and is trying to intimidate me while I'm trying to file a FOIA request and as well as while I was trying to uh, do a complaint. Shame on him. Oh, you're gonna cam back me. That's a public record. That's a public record. He is now trying to record me, it appears, while I am filing a complaint, which is an intimidation attempt. And I believe that's a class, what, three felony? After intimidating her for 10 minutes, the chief decided to leave. The lady filed her request and left the scene. Soon after this incident, Chief Bianchi actually lost his job as his contract was not renewed by his superiors. Let's hope he learned from his mistakes, the same way the following officer was forced to. Yeah, well, I don't like your, your movement, so I'm gonna- What I'm doing? You. This rookie cop learns a valuable lesson on the First Amendment, something you'd think should be taught in the academy, right? How's it going? Uh, What's your name and your badge number? Officer Bremer. Bremer. And what's your name and badge number? Long story short, it sounds like whatever you were doing at the bank, they don't want you to be over there. I was on the public sidewalk recording. Okay, well, they said that whatever you were doing, they just don't want you over there. I was on the public sidewalk. They can't tell me not to be on yeah, the public sidewalk. I know, sidewalk. man. I know. I'm just, just you, you want to go over there? Really. We can go over there. Uh, I didn't. Th I told them they came outside. Let me calm down. They came outside. The guy, Aaron. He said, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm an independent journalist. I'm just gathering content on, on the story. I was walking all the way up down Truman, and I walked down there to record the train. And then the lady came out. She said, hey, you can't record the bank. I said, ma'am, I'm on public property. So Yeah, she, but you could see why that, that would kind of make them uncomfortable, right? You, I mean, it's a bank. You can't even see nothing. I, I know, but they don't know that. Yeah, you can. If you stand outside and you look at the bank, you yeah. can't see anything. The windows is tinted. Okay. It's a reflect. Do you so, have an ID on you? Do I need an ID? Yes. For what? What crime um, have I committed? They identified you. You just identified yourself as being over there. On the sidewalk. I'm investigating. Okay. What crime? This is. What crime? Possible right, trespass. Right, right I was on the sidewalk. I was. How are you going to trespass me? I'm on the sidewalk. Because they're saying you were on the property. I got camera footage. Now, and if they lie to you, and I show you that they're lying, are you going to do something to them? Oh no, that's. Somebody over there is lying. I'm on the public sidewalk. I came all the way up Truman. I walked down there to get the footage of the train. On my way back, I just looked. I just looked at the. I just looked at the bank, and they came running outside. So, I, yeah, came back over here. Walked there. About to go to work. I guess I need Drake. No, sir. I do. No, you do not. For what crime? I just told you. They put a car. On I wasn't, I was on the, I, and I wish, I wish I was still on that sidewalk. When you, when you pulled up, I wish I was on the sidewalk. I was right here, sir. No, I'm not, no, no, I'm not obligated. No, 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 I'm not obligated to give you my ID. Because I haven't committed no crime. From here, it's evident the officers felt challenged by this auditor. Due to this, they opted to handcuff him and waited for their supervisor to arrive on scene. Yeah, I told you you were detained. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> now you've just been... He illegally cuffed me. Hey, how you doing, Sergeant? How you doing, man? What's your name and your badge number, sir? Uh, Star 4, 5382. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, again, just to give you a little quick rough draft on what just took place here, man. Uh, I'm an independent journalist again. I'm just gathering content for a story right before work. I'm a government employee as well. Uh -huh. I got sworn in. I worked right there. So before I came here... I parked right here, I walked down there just so I can get a nice good footage of the train. Uh -huh. And I seen I had a sidewalk where I can get over there to the yeah. gate. Uh -huh. So I walked up to get the train, and on my way back, the people in the bank came out, his name is Aaron. I spoke to Aaron, said, hey, my name is Moses. Uh, I'm an independent journalist, just gathering content for a story. Another lady came out and said, hey, you can't record the bank. I said, well, ma'am, I'm on a public sidewalk. You know, she said, you can't record the bank. So I did just stand there and record for, you know, about 10 minutes or so, just to prove a point that I can't record. I, I walked off, came over here to get a drink. As I'm stepping in the car, these fine guys pulled, and I seen several cops rolling by. They even waved at me. I even got it on camera. And then these guys pulls up, you know, I turn my camera back on. Hey, how you guys doing? And let them know what happened. 
And then he just started saying, hey, where's your ID? Uh, I'm renting your tags. You got registration. It just seemed like you just was like just digging, just wanted to arrest me, man. Just watch as the officer is put in his place once his supervisor is present. So right. they respond to a call. I get it. Right. You're right. You're on the sidewalk. You ain't breaking any law. So they, they claim you're on their property. Obviously, just so you know, you're not allowed on their property. If you're on yes, their property sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do this for a living. I'm an independent journalist. You know what I'm saying? Well, independent journalist, no. You can't be on the private property. I wasn't. I, no, I was never on the property, though. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's fine. I mean, if they, uh, they, like they said they were. It's okay. It, it's, you were allowed, it, it, I mean, you were, you were there freely. Yeah. They warned you, don't go back. So yeah. Now you've been warned, don't go back on their property. I, I was never on it. But, but again, uh, they were responding to a call. That's all they were doing. Just, just what, 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 what kind of, what well, I want to say kind of like just bother me is, uh, how do you pronounce your name? What's your name and badge number? Cordova. Cordova. And this is all just a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? I never knew how long you've been on the force. And sometimes you never come into a situation like this. But once I told you what took place, you were still pushing the issue. I said, hey, sir, you said they're trying to trespass you. I'm like, I never was on their property. It's the plain view doctrine. Whatever I see in public, I can record. You can't trespass my eyes, man. So just let's get a supervisor. I know the supervisor. Yeah, yes, sir. They're, they're responding. Their, their side was that you were trespassing. That's all they were investigating. Oh, about. yeah. Right. Well, I appreciate you guys, man. You got anything else for me? And no, nothing, right, well, man. Y'all have, have a great day. day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ultimately, the officers learned a lesson on the law and the supervisor permitted the auditor to continue his activities without further interference. While it is shocking that this auditor was investigated for simply exercising their rights, it doesn't come close to the case of harassment that's up next. Well, number one, you're on private property. They haven't asked me They don't know you're here. I can take care of that. Auditor and YouTuber known as Otto the Watchdog here was given a truckload of food to distribute to people that needed it most. However, the police chief told Otto that he needed a permit to do so. Amazed by this, Otto decided to protest by holding a cardboard sign that read, well, the system isn't gonna f itself. Then moments later, a police officer arrived to confront him. You know, we just been through this before. Yes, we have. So why are you here? I'm here because I got calls, complaints from people in the city, neighbors, okay. citizens. My name is Ward Guffey, badge number 204 with the city of Hulk And what are you doing here? I was called with a complaint by a citizen that called the chief of police, and the chief of police referred me to come here. Okay, well, I, I, I told the we chief of police. we get a complaint, we have to act on it. Okay, you have to act before you're here. So, yeah. I think something illegal. Well, number one, you're on private property. They haven't asked you to they don't know you're here. I can take care of that. Okay, well let them know I'm here. And then they can, and then they can tell me to leave. And you know, obviously you don't know much. Freedom of speech. I can say you don't be arrested at this point because of prior knowledge is strictly from mental 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 disability. So because, because and disturbing I disturbing the peace. I'm not disturbing the peace. Yes, you are because you're disturbing my peace. When we get complaints from citizens about you uh -huh. and your sign and your actions are causing a disturbance that legally constitutes disturbing the peace. The tyrant cop had no idea about how the law works, as Otto was just exercising his legal rights. Despite this, the officer refused to let go and persisted with questioning. I want you to go away. Said, I want you to leave me alone. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to at all. You're, you're now impeding my First Amendment rights. No, I'm speech. not. I'm asking you what you're doing here. I'm, I'm giving away food. I told you that. I have seen no one come up here for food. How long have you been here? How long? Well, I'm going to stay here to see how long it takes you to find one person who takes the food. Okay, well, that, that truck was loaded up from bed rail to bed rail this morning. Okay. Why do you come to Hulk Coast? Because these people need help. How do you know that? Because they told me. Who? Who is that? I'm not telling you shit. Other than know. Dottie Spence, which is a man liar, and we know that she's the one. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Alright, here we go. No, not here we go again. Just leave me alone. I'm not breaking the law. So Officer Guffey of Hawko PD is talking shit about my First Amendment right to stand here and give food away. And he's gonna stay here until somebody stops. No, I'm here to 
giving you a citation for hey, you can get anything you want. Property. Yeah, we just want to tell you thank you because you. you gave us some food earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No problem. Problem. He's not giving away food. He's doing it in, a, in an illegal manner. He's on private property. He's disturbing. He's causing disturbance. The city we had multiple citizen complaints. Thank you. Hey, get another one. Telling the truth. And just like that, a person appeared who claimed to have taken the free food. It appeared as if the bystander has more knowledge of the law than a police officer. How are you gonna write me a ticket? How are you gonna write me a ticket? How am I gonna write you a ticket yeah. with a pencil and a ticket book? Okay, and are you gonna have to put a penal code on that? I don't have to, I put the violation. Okay, what is the violation? Can you can you look it up? And if you can, I can look it up. If you no can problem. explain to me, you are on you private property that is marked no trespassing. Yes, it is. And it, it the, the sign the, the sign is over there. The city hall they for yesterday. Great. It turns out it was all moldy and rotten. Well, you can you feel and it free was from the church down the street. Okay, so well I just told her to check it. Feel free, feel free to check over. I'm not good. Luck. Later, guys. Bye. All right. I don't want to talk to you too much. You don't have to do anything other than not telling you you're not being charged with trespassing. Funny. I thought that was what you were after. What are you charging me with? I've been instructed that you are you are soliciting. Soliciting doesn't mean you have to be selling something. Okay. Soliciting. Okay. The cop wouldn't listen to him and contacted the police chief who arrived in no time. Visibly, she was also distressed by Otto's actions. Huh? That's like your opinion, man. Well, not a man, but thank you. You must be uh, the man that goes by Otto Freeman. That's right. How you doing? I'm Rhonda McKee and I'm, I'm the pretty chief good. here. Um, you know, you're soliciting without a permit. I'm just sitting here holding a sign. You're soliciting without a permit. You texted me earlier on. Yeah, I told you that I was going to get Which is not your real name, by the way. Um, so, so what? What? You're, what is you're it? Why are you so concerned today? Okay. All right. Um, for soliciting without a permit. So I'm, giving, see no, I'm getting. I'm getting a citation for giving food away and holding a sign. Okay. This I, man does a lot. I need to see your ID. Are you sure about that? Yep. I'm sure. What are you going to do if I don't? I'm going to put you in jail for failure to ID. Okay. Under under duress, I'm going to show you my identification. We need it for the citation. Well, you might need it for a citation, but I'm not entirely sure that there is a citation to be had. At face value, Otto doesn't quite own the police here, as he was given a citation for trespassing. Although, despite this, Otto didn't stop giving out free food. Actually, he stood in the same spot for about 40 minutes longer with no further police interference. All the while, locals continued to take potatoes and other vegetables from him, which was his ultimate goal to help the town in any way he could. For some, for filming a traffic stop and then we go, how many cops? Nine cops. That's crazy. Like the previous case, we have another run in with the feelings enforcement in Toronto this time, with an officer making some outrageously false claims against this group of auditors. You forgot the computer open. <laughs> You gotta love that smell, eh? Come here for a second. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Not bad, how can I help you? Good, so right now you're being uh, investigated for obstruct? Excuse you me? try to get into an officer's vehicle? I tried to get into uh, everything yes. on camera. I didn't ne never okay. try to get into so nobody's vehicle. That's the information I have right now. I just pulled You're up. I'm trying to say I'm trying to get into an officer's vehicle. Are you guys feeling okay? 
I, everything I, is on three cameras, eh? Just so you guys know. Brother, you're the okay. community officer. I'm Turk. You know me already. Yep. So I mean, talk, talk to this guy, bro. Well, that's you're it. Like I, said, I know you for many years. Listen, many years. So right Listen, now, calls. I'm going to tell you something. I did not try to open no vehicle. I'm not stupid, first of all. It's on multiple cameras, second of all. Okay. We're out here filming for transparency, third of all. I have no interest in entering your guys' vehicle. The auditor never even tried to get near the car and was baffled by the police ganging up on him. Soon after, another officer tried to intimidate the other auditors into leaving. Back. I'm right here, bro. You're hey, gonna would you? Up. No. Gonna back Dude, give them some Just space. Just back away from me. Give How about that? Space. Okay. This is our investigation. Yeah, for what? Did that chick say that he tried to open a door? That, that woman, did she say he tried to open her door? Yeah. Is that what's going on? That's just whatever the officer said. Right? Yeah. Here, look. You know what? I gotta walk around you. Yeah, yeah. We're all respecting each other's personal space. Yeah, kiss off, dude. Yeah. Can you stay there? That's perfect. So thank you. Just stop with the directives, dude. I'm not bugging anybody. I'm not hurting anybody. I already Which, gave it to you. No, you didn't. Absolutely. You did not tell me anything. I did. What is it? Give me my name and badge. What is your six name? 65657, last name's Graham. 65657 and Graham. Yeah. We already that gave that to you when you asked the first time. Don't take your fish out of the water, Graham. Leave it on the counter, that sort of stuff. Back like your friend is on that side. Yeah, I, I think you guys are ridiculous. This is 51 Division 2? Yeah, it is. Excuse me, young lady, what is your name and badge number? Four, five, nine. Did, are you the are you the complainant on obstruct? The complainant? Yeah. One, two, four, five, nine. Yep. Yeah, that was you, right? Oh, come on. Yeah. But that's what you said. We, you're you're in a heap of shit because we got it on three different camera angles that nobody tried to get in your car. You know that? You left your computer open. Somebody saw it. I saw it. You need to be uh well, you're a rookie too, eh? With the one, two number. You gotta be in there for what, a year, maybe two? Don't bullshit people. When you see people with cameras, just act accordingly. Don't sit there and lie and try to get us rested because you have a butt hurt. That's ridiculous. If that's what you did, that's ridiculous. You're a horrible person if that's what you tried to do. Officer Kerr had made a huge mistake and the auditor made sure to let her know. Multiple officers started arriving on scene and the auditor was still trying to prove his innocence to them. Unbelievable. Piss poor. Piss poor professionalism. You're likely to shoot somebody. I'd be willing to bet. In your career, you kill somebody who just scared you, spooked you. That's the way that happens. You guys do nothing but use four. I don't care what these dickheads are doing. Okay. Right, I'm telling you, look how he's talking. Look what's going on. Right. Right. Are you guys, you guys can. Right. We're just, okay. I mean, nobody, right. no harm. None of these people I want to see. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to steal their shit. I make more money than that lady makes a year legally, eh? Right. Literally, I make more than her that she makes a year, right. and right. she's right. telling me that I want to steal that's from cool. her. Okay. Yeah, see, you're very unprofessional, man. What's no, your name? My name is Osman. And What's your badge number? 82678. Yeah. I'm go break my fast. I don't have time to entertain this. Do whatever you got to do, bro. You guys can continue. I just, just want to get all yeah. your guys' names and badge numbers. Did you get this one on, on yeah, camera? 82678. Yeah, have a good day. Sir, right name and badge number, please. Miller, 12613. Thank you, sir. You, uh, with your back to me there? Name and badge number, please. Ma'am, I want to let you know you have nothing to worry about when you see me. I'm a community member that's been in this area a lot longer than you've even been working here. We want to see the bad policing stop. Okay, I've had coins flipped for my freedom at River and Oak by 51 Division officers. I know how dirty it gets out here. You understand? Right here, yeah. So I don't want, when you see me, don't ever feel threatened. Right. Okay, you have no reason to. I would never touch your via our vehicle. I respect you coming and having conversation with me. Yes. Between me and you, I have, there's nothing wrong here, right? Yes, yes. Okay? I can't speak okay. for other people that may have been filming me, but. I just want to let you know, when you see me, Canada Cop Watch, you yeah. never have to be alarmed. I didn't know. Don't be alarmed. Where That's where you right. are. You're going to be on there tonight now. But I just want you guys to know when you see us, don't be alarmed. Right, but you also have to be mindful of what you're reporting, right? Close it. For you. It's not too bad for me. 
You guys could close it if you if you don't want it to be yeah. seen. That's what you're supposed to do. If there's sensitive information that you're then close it. I don't want the camera up on, up on the, on the computer. Right? I, I don't want. I don't. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not interested in what's on your guys' computers. It's literally. I'm not interested in it. A feeling. You guys. You guys take it easy. I told you they were coming for us. The officers eventually left after realizing that it was a false call from one of their fellow juniors. As of now, there's no update if anything happened to Officer Kurt, but going off what we know, being that blue protects blue, this case would have already been swept under the rug. Fortunately though, the same cannot be said for the next officer as Karma hits him hard. It's April of 2023 and Officer Scott Harrell just pulled up to a gas pump behind Christopher Shull and told him that he was speeding in the gas station's parking lot. Any weapons in the car I need to worry about? Okay. Ford, did you catch my traffic? Yes, sir, have you on traffic. Is there any particular reason why you felt you needed to come through the parking lot like that? I didn't think I did anything wrong. I just came over to get gas. You were speeding and you cut through parking spaces. You know you can't do that. Interest will be confirmed on Robert's I didn't think I was doing anything, man. Just, I mean, you walked around. Is coming to get gas. Yep. Oh, are we going to go back and forth or are you just going to... You asked me a question. You want me to answer it or not? I'm not... Okay. That's what happened, so... I come here every day. There's almost never, ever, ever anybody. You were sitting there this morning. Now, uh, last week, for about three days, someone was parking there. But if I come here 365 days a year, which I do, there's someone sitting there maybe 10 times. So there's never, ever a car there. So, yeah, I go through there because it's the straight path from the entryway to here, which is what you're going to see everybody else. Mr. Shaw claimed that he wasn't speeding. The officer also had no evidence of his claim. Funnily enough, moments later, the officer came back to Shaw, letting him know that he'd run out of tickets. I'm not gonna go back and forth and all that. I'm not gonna write you tickets, but the only reason I'm not writing you tickets is because I'm out of tickets right now. Okay, otherwise you would be receiving a citation. For what? With the citation, I'm just curious. Disregarding traffic control device. On private property? Yes. Okay. Still, you still can't do that, it's still illegal. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not going to write you a ticket. Um, I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, but, I understand. Uh, I don't, one, I don't appreciate the attitude. <laughs> Two, I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling, them, pulling up on them. Nobody likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you're not supposed to cut through the parking lot. And instead of being like, oh, yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth with me. Right? There's a lot better things than, than this to be doing for you. Man. You're right. I was working on a you report. You can be over here. And the, I mean, there's people right now running you 90 miles an hour on the You want to go to jail? You want to go to jail? So. You want to go to jail? You could go to jail for this. The officer's ego was not taking a back seat as he continued to escalate the traffic stop for no reason. I think it's ridiculous. What do you specifically do you think is ridiculous? That we're even talking about nothing happened. And here we are talking and you're threatening to take me to jail. No, and so I shouldn't be getting upset. We're good. I don't feel like we are. I feel like this is uh, <laughs> this is this is a problem. How is it a problem? I feel like you're going to continue to to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. Mr. Shul hadn't broken any law whatsoever, however, the power-hungry cop was still adamant into making matters tough for him as he proceeded to do the unthinkable. In the future. So we're now, now we're playing. John Club Van Dam, future cop, and you're gonna you need to stop me from something I may do in the future. That's now your position. You're, you're feeling like you should take action because maybe sometime in the future I might possibly continue to do something. Come on. What is Again. the law designed to do, sir? Oh, I, I know you it's want designed compliance. To stop people I know, from doing I know you want voluntary compliance. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, go ahead and put your hands on the back. Wow. One of you may call with a gray shirt and a white undershirt, with camo pants, black hat. The other male can be looking for with a black shirt, black boots, sitting pants, just kicked in the front row. Do this a different way then. I have no water. But I explained it to you, and then you wanted to argue with me. Because I didn't think I did anything, Harold. I, I know I look young. I this still... is not my first day on the job, sir. I promise. It's nothing to do with any of that. I didn't think I did anything. You almost was trying hit to... that white truck. I agree with you that, that that's what you think. Then that, there's nothing I can do to change it's your all, point of view. It's going to be on the cameras. I'm going to get copies of it. 
I didn't think I did anything that was frustrating for me to try to explain to you that I didn't think that I did anything and you're not hearing me. I when, hear you, sir. I disagree. Even if Shul was speeding, he should have just received a speeding ticket and been good to go. The officer certainly had no legal reason to make the arrest, and he was only causing difficulties for himself. Like I said, I don't want to be that big of a... Lean forward for me just a little bit. Get your phone out. Any firearms in the car I need There's to know nothing, about? Anything like that? No, I don't do anything. And he came through the parking lot and cut through all the spaces. And he came through so fast and whooped into here and there was a white truck. The white truck had to slam on its brakes. So I come over here. I was just gonna be like, hey man, chill out. Like chill out, don't be like that. But he wanted to go back and forth and argue with me and give me all kinds of stuff and like I didn't have any tickets and I didn't grab a rider this morning. So I was like, man, look, this it didn't have to go this way. He kept going back and forth, back and forth. So I was like, all right, sure, I'm going to change things up. Yeah, I was, I was going to be, I'm a but I'm not going to be that big of a Suddenly, the officer realizes that maybe he has truly blown the entire situation out of proportion or because of his own disorganization. What do you know? I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I'm, I don't know this guy at all. I don't know anything about him. But he, he kept wanting to go back and forth, back and forth, and argue, and I was like, if I had a ticket book, I'd have just written him a ticket. Um, you have a rider? Uh, I have uh, paper tickets. You have paper tickets? Yeah. That's what I'd rather do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this a different way. So the other officer has a ticket book he's going to let me use. You're going to receive me, be receiving the citation, okay? And, uh, because I think going to jail is a bit excessive. But, well, I agree with you, but I didn't have another option. I don't have another ticket book, and I don't have a ticket writer with me. So we're going to do it that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Step out for me. Take your time. Tighten up. Mr. Shaw waited for another couple of minutes here before Officer Harold wrote him the speeding ticket. Okay, I see you sign right here. It's not a hey, mission of guilt. Mr. Shaw is no longer in custody. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just a promise you'll contact the court honor before the date and time that's written on here. You can contact the court at the bottom here. The information is there and also up there. Free to go, sir. Finally, the poor man was left alone. However, the incident soon went viral over the internet and the police department started an internal investigation into Officer Harold. And finally, on September 8th, the officer was fired from his job. Now, as if officers share habits, we have yet another case of humility caused by an officer's lack of awareness. Why are you in our car park, which is private property? I didn't know it was private property. You ignored all the signs then, didn't you? What you signs did I ignore? It doesn't say private property. I'll accept your apology. fine. It doesn't say private property. So I'll accept your apology. This auditor was visiting a police station in Cambridge for the day. Here's how it unfolded. Just across the road from the police station and the fire station is right next to it. Um, but yeah, I'm in Cambridge for the day. And uh, I'm, I'm visiting a few places. I'm first stopping by this police station and then I'm going to go and check out their job centre. Um, those of you that are familiar with uh, with the auditing community um, will know about PTTPs and visit at Cambridge Job Centre where he was violently and brutally assaulted off a member of their staff. I followed him out down the street and uh, first of all, the police station, that's where I've came to first. That's where I'll get a good feel for how how the police are, I suppose, how, how they're going to react to a man with a camera. As the auditor explores the police station and heads towards an upper parking lot, the police officer suddenly approaches him, leading to an unexpected encounter. Here we go. Hello, buddy, you okay? I'm alright, mate, how are you? What are you up to? Pardon? What are you up to? What are you up to? Uh, I'm asking you what you're doing, you're on police premises. I'm a 
Do you mind identifying yourself for me, please? Yeah, Sergeant 330 Ison. Uh, hiya, Sergeant. What's your name? Uh, Sergeant Ison. Is uh, Ison? Yes. Yeah, I'm pronouncing that properly. Okay. You're based out of here, yeah? Yeah, what What are you doing on the site, sir? Uh, I'm just being nosy, to be honest. Just having a look around, yeah. Okay. Um, you're aware you can film no issues, but yeah. you can't be on the site in the car park? Yeah, I've already been on the car park for quite some time. I'm pretty much done. I just came up to the top level to have a look around. Okay, and well, I'm going to ask you to leave and I'm going to need to escort you off the site. Are you? Yes. You're, you're going to put your hands on me, Sergeant? No, not at all. No, so if I decline your offer, then what? Shortly afterwards, a sergeant arrives on scene as backup, only to witness the order to educate these misguided officers. Sorry, mate, do you mind identifying yourself for me, please? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Why? It's part of your code of practice. So. Sergeant 68 Andy Waters. Awesome. Why are you in our car park, which is private property? I didn't know it was private property. You ignored you, all the signs then, didn't you? What you signs did I ignore? At the bottom of the map, when you walked up and you walked past them. What past what signs since private you property? Past the signs at the bottom of the signs. Yeah, because I, I, I can assure you, listen, I don't know why you've been so aggressive and hostile. I'm being very polite. I think a lot more serious to deal with I've been quite polite. Well, he's been very rude. So, like, as I say, um, there's no need for it. You know, I'll be very polite to you. Well, it's publicly funded, my friend, so I'm well entitled to come and have a look at it. But as I say, I'm being very polite to you. There's no need to come up with a hostility, you know. And you're a sergeant as well. You should know better. For goodness sake. I was being hostile to you. You said you're being rude, and you are being hostile the way you're talking to me. I'm not being rude to you. You were being rude. I said, well, well, go and deal with it. And I never asked you to come and talk to me. Well, I never asked you to come and talk to me. Did I? I don't need your permission. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Pardon? Private property. Private property. Who funds it, sergeant? Surely you should know better by that. Public property. Well, I do as well, because I'm a taxpayer. No, you rebate the tax. What are you talking about? You get paid at the tax first. You can't pay tax on tax that you're getting paid from. It's impossible. You know? So let's have a look at this sign that you say is private property. That I ignored, apparently. And I'll accept your apology if it's not there. Now watch as the sergeant finds himself in an embarrassing situation as the auditor asserts his authority, humbling the sergeant in his presence. So, let's see. Where does it say private property? Huh? Where does it say private property, sergeant? Outside police station. No, 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 no. You said it says private property. I, I wasn't supposed to be here. Where does it say private property? So I'll accept your apology. And I'll let you go back about your way. It doesn't say private property. I'll accept it, your it, apology. Yeah, I said fine. It doesn't say private property. So I'll accept property. your apology, go back Please. to work. I'll accept your apology, go back to work. Please leave the area then. Leave the area? Yes. I'm in a public place, you can't make me leave anywhere. Am I being detained? Making... No, I'm not detained. Well, I'm, I'm free I'm to go, I'm free to, to stay. Leave the police station car park area. Am I in the car park? Yes. You're in the entrance of it currently. I'm, yes. on, I'm on the public. No, that's the public footpath over there, sir. No, I'll go wherever I want, thank you very much. No, you won't go wherever you want. Or what? That's the public footpath. This is the entrance to the private the police car park. Okay. As the all the signage. The private Please. police car park that there is no signage for. You've made yourself look a right idiot today, you know, Sergeant. You've made yourself look a fool. You know? Go back to work, please. Just go back to work. You're not going to get a dignity to apologise for your stupid mistake. You absolute buffoon. Despite his lack of knowledge, the sergeant persists, ultimately embarrassing himself on camera and in front of his officers. I don't have to answer your questions. I don't have to answer your questions. This is textbook, dude. I don't have to answer your questions. You're just educating my, my, my friends here. That's all. You can educate all you want, but what you can't do is you can't interfere with our investigation. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you. If you'd like to video, I would like you against the wall because I'm going to let you know right now. Here's good. To right here. Here's fine. And this is where my prisoner is. You want to see him? Here okay, here's he is. Fine. Next up is a First Amendment auditor who saw officers from the Hilliard Police Department make an arrest and decided to film the entire encounter until suddenly an officer came out and confronted him. We're more than 10 feet away. Nothing, buddy? No. You need anything? Nope, you're dismissed. Dismissed? Yep. Actually, that's not how it works, but... Am I committing a crime? No, but I'd like to know if you need I'd like to not answer your questions. You're dismissed. Well, why are you taking it? Because I'm allowed to film in public. You are allowed to film in public. Cool. You're dismissed. I'm just making sure that you need anything. I don't need anything for you. Okay. Well, just do us a favor. Don't interfere with our investigation. I'm not interfering. You don't need to tell me that. 
appreciate you though. Cool. Okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, f you. I'm sorry, do I do I have a first amendment too, man? I, I f you, dude. I can I can say what I want. Exactly. Which means I can say f you and point the camera at you. Yeah. Moments later, the auditor decided to go near the cop's car, and that's when the agitated officer appeared again, this time leading to a massive brawl. You can film in the windows too if you want to. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not doing anything wrong, man. You can't just walk up on a police I can absolutely. I know the law better than you, don't no, I? You don't, Interesting. Like, we got a prisoner in the back of the car. I'm 10 feet away. Just There's a prisoner back Are you okay? So it sure looked like you were coming to let him out of the car. You're getting a complaint on you, dude. You need you to step back. You go right ahead. I haven't violated I've any of your rights. I haven't violated any of your laws. Much. But you sure are oh, man. really taking me away from my You sound like feelings enforcement right now. You're law feelings enforcement, dude. Enforcement? Yeah, you yeah, walk up yeah. To a cruiser to maybe let what law did I break? Out? What law did I break? The officer was absolutely fuming, and it was evident that his ego had been hurt pretty badly. He continued to shout at the auditor, but couldn't name one law he broke throughout the altercation. Dude. I'm just telling you right now, don't do that again, or you will be the What law did I break? I'm telling you, do you understand? If you what law did I break? Cruiser, there are Educate the public. Educate the public. What law did I break? I don't know you. You don't know what law I broke. I don't Because there know wasn't you. one. So if you... Can you leave me alone? I'm just filming. Can you it's leave me alone? Obstruction. Can you it's leave me alone? Called. It's not. It's it, not. It's it's no, no, actually, it's, it's, it's 10 feet away, dude. It's 10 feet there's away. Two, all I need is eight, and there's 10, 10 feet. feet. All I need is eight. I know the law, man. You know again. I know the law. Don't do it. You don't have to let me know anything. Don't do it. I can do what I was doing. I was 10 feet away. You and you still can't do. name a law I broke, can you, law enforcement? You can't name a law. You're real mad. You're big mad right now. Throwing your arms in the air. Yeah. 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 Obstruction. Say it again. Say it again. I'm still not under arrest, am I? Interesting. The auditor was correct, as he hadn't broken any laws, since he was only exercising his constitutional right to film and speak freely in public. Good. Can I get a badge number? Fine. Yeah. 680. A plus. A plus, my friend. Well done. Okay. All of that came from us. Okay. So what I need next is price. Can I get their badge numbers as well? Yeah. You got 668 and 699. 668, 699. Thanks. You're not getting a complaint, man. You did great. Stop, stop, stop out here. You did great. You should tell your friend that I'm allowed to be 10 feet away and film in the car. As of now, we don't have any update whether he filed a complaint against that ignorant cop, but despite that, he did manage to make the officer do a walk of shame, something this next citizen made the officer do with little to no effort. What the f do you want? Okay, there is no need for that name call. Next up, a female police officer from Ogden sparks frustration from a homeowner by covering her front door camera. This is how the encounter unfolds. You're gonna need to get your hand off my camera right now. I apologize. Get your hand. Don't cover my camera. Let's don't cover my camera. Don't cover my camera. I thought Shut the fuck up. Get the property. I actually do have a warrant. Whoa, really? Get the my property. It's just it. Bye. Bye, get the f off my property! Are you are you home to come out and talk with me? Yeah, I'm bitch, I'm inside to... hiding from you! That's what I f do, you dumb. You can stand on the curb and then you can show me your f warrant! But until then I suggest you get the f off my property, bitch! This ain't fing Ruby Rings too! Get all your little fing pigs off my property! Get the f out of here, all you little fat cops! No need for that name card. Yeah. Ultimately, the Ogden police officers reach their limit with the homeowner's attitude. At least they know when to call it quits. The same, however, cannot be said for the Lyon County sheriffs in Nevada up next. Put the bike down. Why? It's my bike. Because I told you to put the bike down. Why are you stopping me right now? Because you're riding your bike with no light on. These officers responded to a call about a fire, which turned out to be a barbecue. However, body cam footage exposed the officer's attempt to wrongly frame James Grisham, who has a history of minor offenses and misdemeanors. I got a barbecue. All right.
What's up, my man? Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Put the bike down. Put the bike down. Why? It's my bike. Because I told you to put the bike down. Why are you stopping me right now? Because you're riding your bike with no f***ing on. I'm riding it. I gotta put ride, the bike I gotta ride down. Ride right here. Dude, put well, the bike right down. Here. I said, no, fuck put that. the bike down, James. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to f***ing tase you, dude. What have I Get done on the wrong? ground, James. What have I done wrong? 562 King. Get what on the ground. I done wrong? I've not done nothing wrong. Get on the ground, James. I've done nothing wrong. Am I being detained? Get on the ground, James. Detained. Am I being detained? Subject stop. Am I being detained? 425 Willow, white male. Help. Get on the ground, James. You are being detained. Fucking idiot! Get on the ground! I'm on the ground! I'm gonna tase you, dude. Get on the hey, ground. Put the flashlight down. Am I being detained? Harassment's gonna stop. Shut up. Call your supervisor. I want you to call your supervisor. My I am the amendment supervisor, audit. dipshit. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. Yeah, try the Fifth First amendment. amendment. Shut First up. First Amendment audit. You have no reason to stop me right now. Yeah. None. You're riding your bike when the I lights on. Right there in my hand. I'm in a parking lot, private property. What are you doing here? You got any dope on you, James? No, I don't. Now what? I want your supervisor. Stand up. I want your stand supervisor. Stand up. I'm good stand up. Where's your supervisor? Face at? away. Put Where's your feet you? apart. You got any weapons on you? Nope. After violating the man's rights, the sheriff arrives on scene. Do you think that maybe you just answer a couple quick questions? But when you're rolling up here and then coming back... You told like, me to come back, so I came back. Yeah. And then I'm telling you to drop the bike. You're not dropping the bike. My and then bike. you push it. You, you're trying to bike. tense up on me. My hand. I didn't do nothing yes, on you. Yes, you did. That's why you were stopping me. Yes, I you did. I saw you pull up here. That's why I turned around to come back. All right. I knew you were going to come. How about that? Yeah. Because when I roll up, bonfire. What do with me? You were there. I was just talking to them, asking yeah. them what's up with the bonfire. Oh. And they're okay. barbecuing. Imagine that. All right, dudes. Sit tight. <laughs> The two officers then step away from cuffed Grisham to discuss what charges they can press against him. So they fucking, we're, sit, we're sitting over there across oh. the um, at the sub, dude, and that's like it's coming out. Yeah. I thought the building was on fire. Oh, shit. Roll up, and then I'm like trying to ascertain what's going on. He's off on the bike, and then, but it ends up being inside a barbecue, which I don't even know if that's legal. And I mean, yeah. I don't want to, I'm not going to check the door because it's yeah. pushing that. Um, but yeah. Um, it's hard to tell on that one. Yeah. It's hard to At tell. first, I was like, yeah, you're riding a bike with no light. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know, dude. But I don't know if he's right, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm like, I'm wondering if, if just leaving when I roll up for. Like an illegal fire. Well, it's unsolicited flight. Yeah. And then we have your RAS to stop them to begin yeah. with. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's unsolicited. It's not getting your lights on. The video quickly went viral, shared by someone familiar with Grisham's situation. They reported his trial was set to start during the first week of May this year. With Grisham's situation sparking a national debate, stay tuned for more updates on this case. Moving on now, check this out. One, sir. You're not elderly, okay? That's discrimination. Well, then fine. I'm a call grandma. It, call it what you want. I'm a grandmother, and I don't approve of this, sir. Okay. This auditor, or should I say grandma, decided to take a humorous approach to his First Amendment order over in Grundy County. Something a little different for a change. Hey, don't film inside the vehicle. Grandma's filming. Don't do it. Why not, darling? Because there's per personal property in there. And there's sensitive items in there. But grandma's in public. Don't film inside of the vehicle, okay? But grandma's in public. You can't film other people inside of other people's cars, okay? Oh, I can't film inside other people. My eyes can see it, a camera can see it. If there was any private sensitive things, I see you got your your spit bottle, you know. So? So? So what, darling? So I told you you're fine to look at the vehicles, but don't don't be filming inside the vehicles, okay? It's the same thing as looking at them. It's in public. I'm telling you not to do it though, okay? Is that an order? Yes. So you'll arrest me if I do? Are you mean to elderly folks? One, sir, 
you're not elderly, okay? That's discrimination. Well, then fine. I'm a call grandma. It, call it what you want. I'm a grandmother, and I don't approve of this, sir. Okay, well, your behavior right now filming inside of a police vehicle is suspicious, so I'm going to ask for your ID now. Oh, did I commit a crime? You're being suspicious, so I'm What now, crime is that? I'm is that now, a misdemeanor I'm or a felony? I'm investigating. For what crime? Suspicious and it's not a crime. No, because I haven't determined yet if you've committed a crime. Well, you have to before you come and ask for ID. Oh, I do? Yeah, what's the Fourth Amendment, silly? I do not need... Know the Fourth Amendment? I do not need permission. Yes, you do. You we have a constitution. Yourself. I don't need permission from any of... From you especially to conduct my job. Do not what? identify yourself. I will place you under arrest. All right, then arrest me because that's okay. a Fourth Amendment violation. Okay. Put this down. As the officer attempts to justify his actions, the auditor calmly educates him on the law, leaving the officer speechless. I violate my Fourth Amendment you're, rights. You're, you're, you're intentionally goading and antagonizing. And antagonizing what? Standing on public property? You just said I could this look inside. This actually is not public property. Yes, it is. Where's the signs restricting? And you this just gave me permission property. to come. Private property is not a police station. Who pays for it? We the people. You, you had an oath to up, swore to uphold the Constitution, yet you're trying to violate a grandma's rights no, I'm not. for filming because no, she I'm doesn't not. want to give you ID because you said she committed no crime. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime was committed, is about to be committed, or already has been committed. What what crime did I commit? And you said none. Yeah, where, where, where is that from then? What, what do you what think? I, what Iowa code? What do you think? What Iowa code? That's your job. What Iowa code? What's the Fourth Amendment? What Iowa code? What's the Fourth I'm not Amendment? Sit here and you argue swore with an oath you. to the Constitution. That's your number one job. I am not. And you're over here trying to violate rights. my rights, no, standing in public videotaping. No, I'm not. There's zero. Pr pr what's private information besides your spit you, cup? You're intentionally videotaping, being nice, and, and being cordial. Your little, your little viewers here are probably getting a real kick out of this, aren't they? I don't know. You ask them. You could look in the camera and say hello. Hi. You know how many people are watching you right now trying to violate a grandma's rights? What right have I violated? My Fourth Amendment. What do you think the Fourth Amendment is? Have I violated To be secure in my, in my persons and papers. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Okay? Well, then violate my rights. That's up to you. But you're getting a lawsuit if you try, Shin. Another officer then arrives on scene, only to be met with the same level of knowledge and confidence from the auditor. This man's a bully. Grandma, he's videotaping inside law enforcement vehicles and which is per perfectly acceptable to identify himself. I don't have to. He said no crime's been committed. There's absolutely no crime that can be committed. Okay, is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> Tell Stanley to stop being a naughty boy and to leave oh, grandma alone. Just... No, Stan it's, it's... Stanley tried arresting it's grandma. Behavior, yeah, is what you want me to hold my horses? No, I said just hold on. I got to talk. You got to let me speak. Is that okay? If you listen to grandma afterwards, grandma will let you. All right. You well, I talk. just got on duty. I have no idea what's going on. I just came in here. Yeah, it's, no, that's all right, very, Fox. It is very unfamiliar to have somebody videotape the inside of cars. It's kind of weird. That's why he's... Well, they're police vehicles. They're bought by the public, are they not? They are. But it is weird for people to videotape the building, wouldn't you? I don't think so at all, darling. Yes, I be, think people should videotape buildings they buy. Yeah, but this isn't your house. This is public. This isn't private property. Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference in between that. You don't see me going up to some private people's property. This is we the people's property. Okay. So, so Grandma's just out here. Uh, tell Stanley to stop trying to violate my Fourth Amendment. Bad Stanley, you're naughty. Well, Fourth Amendment, a, uh, <laughs> so I just want to ask again, is there anything that we can help you with at all? Uh, tell Stanley to leave Grandma alone and I'm out of here. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell me, tell me yeah, so, tell him. Uh, I sure freaking do. Yeah, walk a shame, Stanley. Oh, Get out of here, Stanley. Right. Well, I just, I just wanna... You're a son of a gun, Stanley. Yes, you can't no, violate my me. rights. I'm grandma. I... This is a perfect example of not so good law enforcement officers always thinking they know better than everyone else. The same can definitely be said about the next know it all or not enough officers. You know the Fourth Amendment. What is sure, it? Sure, I know it. So, what is it? What is it? The right, right of freedom. <laughs> No way you just said speech. that. This confused officer is Lieutenant Solomon from the Clinton, Arkansas station, and today he has met his match with Auditor the Random Patriot, with a showdown you don't want to miss. No, that. Lieutenant Solomon, Police Department, what's your name? Cool, I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, man. Did he have some idea that I can say? No, sir. I don't. No, I mean, no. Arkansas is one of the 15 out of these states, so I'm all by. There is no way you believe that. If you, all right. Since you're starting off this way, do you have somewhere higher than you? Because I promise you that's not correct, and you're going to get your whole town into a lawsuit. And I don't want to go that way. I've been having a great day. 
You don't want to go that way either. But if you just tell me your name. I'm not telling you my name. I'll tell you my first name and we're stopping there and I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. If you want to ID me unlawfully, you're going to lose your job and your qualified immunity. Yeah, think you can do As Lieutenant Solomon decides to challenge the auditor, watch firsthand how the auditor educates and outmaneuvers this law enforcement officer, leaving him humbled in the process. Percent. More or less, we're just concerned about what you're doing. Well, do not think that you yeah. can just stop and ID anyone you want. You're going to get yourself in trouble and you're non-constitutional. You are unconstitutional. Well, with what's going on, I mean, it's you are un No, ask. if you think you can do that, yeah, you, you, you don't believe in the Fourth Amendment if you think you can do that. Do you know what the Fourth Amendment is, sir? What is it? You know, we say what's the, what's like the Fourth Amendment? Yeah. I, no, no, no. This is important to everybody that you know the Fourth Amendment. What is sure, it? Sure, I know it. So what is it? What is it? The right, right of freedom. <laughs> No way you no just said speech. that. No, that's the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's the, what I'm saying, the First Amendment. No, the First Amendment. Right bro, speech, what's the Fourth and, Amendment? Okay. All right, just... The, um, oh, my God, dude, and you're a lieutenant? Is your chief here? No, he's off. Tonight. We need someone to teach you what the Fourth Amendment is. What, Amendment what is it? My, my question is... What is the... Just, no, okay. What what's the five elements you know, of the First Amendment? There's you know, there's just, five you know, elements. We just, we just had some there's concern. five elements of the First Amendment. I questions for you. No, I have some concerns and questions for you. There's five elements of the First Amendment. What are they? Well, I'm going to go ahead and... What are they, sir? What's the Fourth Amendment? You don't know any of it. If you don't you need to, to go study the Constitution, and until you do, don't say a word to me, please. Go back inside, look up the Constitution, and read those rights and learn them. Memorize them, then come out. Other than that, you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about, and you don't need to be a lieutenant. And I'm sorry I'm getting mad, but that is ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself for not knowing the First or the Fourth. Walk of shame right there, and it's deserved. The auditor then tries to enter the building, and that's when the lieutenant thinks this. Lieutenant Solomon, you're opening your city up for a lawsuit by allowing this door to be locked because of me. Is a bright idea. Lieutenant Solomon, you're opening your city up for a lawsuit by allowing this door to be locked because of me. You're not allowed to pick and choose who comes in here. So either you lock it to everybody for the rest of the day, or you're opening yourself up for a lawsuit, and you better have a good reason for having it locked the rest of the day, not just because there's a guy with a camera. So you better open this door and let me come in, and we can get this over with. Why are you guys so scared of someone with a camera? What are you hiding? You should be welcoming me in here, showing me around. Making yourself look good. Making your town look good. Let's start over. Let's start over. Do you want to let me in and just show me around and have a pleasant conversation so we can change this? I'm willing to, re I'm, I'm willing to start over with y'all. All right, I gave you a chance. I'm honestly not going to waste my time in this stupid little hallway. Shortly afterwards, the sheriff arrives on scene. Hello, sir. How are you? What's up, guys? Good. All right, I can come in now. They weren't letting me in a minute ago. You know, that's a lawsuit if I wanted to. I don't want to. I'm literally just trying to have a pleasant time here in Clinton. That's it. But here we have... Is you, uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Sheriff Eric Oh, you're, you're the Eric sheriff. County. Awesome. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Justin. Good to meet you, Justin. Uh, so why'd they send the sheriff down here for a guy with a camera? Somebody sent the sheriff. They, we all monitor the radio traffic. Hey, dude. Hey, hold on. Before call, you lie on camera. If we get a call, if we get a call over the radio. No, I heard them call the sheriff down we, here. I heard them on, I have them on, on video calling the any, sheriff down here. Anyway. Uh-oh, they're sending the sheriff out here. The gentlemen take the heated conversation outside to try and talk things out. I've never met a cop so childish in my life, and I have, I have hundreds of videos. This is ridiculous. Y'all should be embarrassed right now, dude. Go back to your office. You're dismissed. Again. Go back to your office. You're dismissed. You listen. If you don't live here, one thing you need to go home knowing is you serve the Constitution, and the Constitution serves the people. You serve the Constitution. So you come here from out of town, and you you go town to town, and you try to do some type of a constitutional audit just to try to engage police officers? Is that what you're doing? Because uh, you're bored. Is that what it is? You've got nothing better to more, do. Because dude, you just, you're bored. It's not more time on my hands. I don't have two seconds of spare time. Any just spare like time me, I have, I do I something. I coming down here just because I overheard Then go back to your office, bro. I've dismissed you 12 times. I dismissed you the same amount of times. You can't dismiss me. I did. I said you're free can't to go. Can't do it. You can't do it. Being 
detained. Can't do it. You were never detained. You can't dismiss me. I'm undismissible. That's my middle name. So now you got two of my names. Justin, undismissible. Mine's Lee. I've been in office to ensure the general public you're, safety. You're winning me back. Okay. Can I ask you one thing and and it'll really make a big difference? Yep. Can you demand ID just because you want to? Uh, like, for example, right now, could only you make if, me ID? Only if somebody that I'm asking for their ID has committed a crime or I have, has been suspected of committing a crime. All right. That's another point, man. Thank After owning the lieutenant, this auditor also puts the sheriff in his place and still continued about his activities at the station without any further complications. Suspicious is a crime now. Suspicious is not grounds. Joker. Auditor Britton stopped by the Kentish Town Police Station here to collect some footage, but was met by some less than impressed officers. Um, my attention has been drawn to you because you've been stood outside the police station taking pictures of it. Yeah, you've been taking me to the police station. What? Someone said someone's seen you taking pictures of the police station and the back gate and things. Sir? Son? Son? Pardon? What do you want? We're asking you why you're taking photos of the police station. Just taking photos, man. But, but why? Why? Do you not understand why, that's a bit, why we're a bit curious as to why you're doing it? Why are you taking pictures for? Huh? Don't surround me. Don't surround me. At the minute, you're detained under Section 43 of the Terrorism Act at the minute. Okay. Because okay, you're taking photos of the police station and of the gates, all right? We're we concerned about hostile reconnaissance in a minute. Find a minute. Unfortunately, the auditor was handcuffed and his phone was snatched off him in the process, but no need to fear, friends, as this man came prepared. You don't need to do that. I'll stop you to the front. Give me a hand. You don't need to do that. You're going to be, no, say you, you can be searched effectively, okay, and safely, that's why. Why? Look, but we're explaining you're taking photos of the police station. There's nothing wrong with taking pictures, man. Yeah, but you're also being very evasive to questions you're asking, aren't you? I didn't. You just came out taking photos through. of the side gates. Why are you taking yeah. photos of gates of the police station? The auditor's sneaky spy glasses caught all of the commotion caused by these shady cops. Yeah. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking I'm for? You. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Anything that's concerning. Anything that you've What's that? Suspicious. What are you looking for? Sorry? What are you looking for? Do you not understand why it's concerning? Do you not understand? You need to go. Have you heard of Girl Wisely? Have you heard of that? No, you didn't. What are you searching for? What are you searching for? What are you searching for? You don't know. The lack of knowledge about law becomes evident when they struggle to answer the questions being asked by the auditor. Not yet. Why? Because you need to figure out who you are. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Section 43, you don't have to figure out who I am. Okay, police, listen to her. Listen, officer, officer, Hello. officer. You've done your section 43. You've done your search. So we just, That's we it. Just want to who you no, are. you don't. Not but under you section can, 43. You can help us and give us your name. But listen, you know, under section 43, you don't need my name. Please now. I'm just gonna, do you want the stop slip, sir? Yeah, but I need to be released. I will wait for the stop search. I do. Okay. I do. Am I still being detained? No, I'm, do you want a stop search? Do you want a stop search? I want a stop search, yes. Yeah. Idiots. You violate people's rights and then you say, ooh, ooh, ooh. Things take an interesting turn when the auditor takes on the role of a teacher and starts schooling the officers. Many people take pictures in London. This is London, man. So, so do you understand the risks surrounding taking pictures? What's the, what are the risks? What risk are you talking about? You so we can what risks are you talking about? What's that? What, what's the risks? You you what's the risk? You, you're an idiot. I've got it. You've then told my colleague to shut up. It doesn't make it right, so don't do it if you don't like it, all right? Okay, mister, I'm a member of the public. You're a public servant. If okay. I tell you to shut up, you will shut up. No, it doesn't work like Yes, that. it does. Okay. Yes, it does. Okay. You, think, you think I work for you now? Okay. I have to respect you now. After you put me in cuffs, maybe not you, uh, you guys put me in cuffs, you think I'm going to respect you? I don't think so. The officers ultimately have to swallow their pride and make a quick exit. It becomes quite clear that they misjudged their opponent. The auditor was well aware of his rights and was not afraid of standing up for himself. Neither is the next auditor out of Minnesota. Is that a crime? crime? Data privacy laws? No, sir. This officer comes down hard from the get-go and starts confronting the auditor. Little does he know that this man came prepared. Let's check out the zoom features on this camera. Hey, sir. No, you can't. Zoom. I absolutely, I can, sir. Hey, whoa. Well, do not touch me. You cannot You be, cannot touch me. You cannot be. Sir, it is available and viewable from no. public. You cannot Sir, be recording. It on is my viewable phone. from the public. You cannot no, no. interfere with me. Yes. Actually, you cannot yeah, interfere you cannot with be me. You recording inside the vehicles. It, with okay. The, let's take it down the computer. Step. Let's take it down everything up. Okay. At this point, I am going to ask for your identification. My ID. Why? But am I being detained? Fine. 
Do you want to start me a call? Hold on, hold on. Off this. Am I, I being got detained? A gentleman here I'm trying to record inside squad. Oh, oh. Day two. Yes. And why I, am I being right detained? Now. Because, like I just told you, you're recording. Is that a crime? Like, is that a crime? Privacy, data privacy laws? No, sir. Oh, you are required to create your own privacy. I am not required yeah. to do your privacy okay. for you. I really would like to take okay. the tension down. So, Let's de-escalate. Right, so can I see your ID? No, yes. you cannot. Okay. Not unless you have reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. that I have committed, am committing, or am about to commit a crime, which is a Just statute so. or law. Not you your feelings, your not your policies, nothing about that. This so is an unlawful detention. As a right this now, is an unlawful on, detention. Will you stop interrupting me? Sure, I'm sorry. Yeah. So basically, he's walking around, he's recording <clears> inside <throat> all the squads, collecting plate numbers, everything else like that came up to my squad and then started zooming in on the computer and stuff, which is, our computers is private information. But you not. need to create the privacy. Okay. It's crazy how these law enforcement officers are unaware of the laws that they're meant to enforce and need to be taught through such auditors. Who is in charge of their training? In order for me to provide to you my identification, okay. you need to be able to articulate reasonable, articulatable suspicion that I have committed, am committing, or am about to commit an actual law. I'd like to inform you, sir, that you are outside. Okay, I'm just gonna pull a piece of paper out here. You are officially outside of your authority. You are officially violating my constitutional rights. And it states, it states right here, if you read line three of the Code of Ethics of Public Services of the City of Hinckley. Line, you dedicated service that. all officials and employees oops, pardon violating his rights. officials and employees shall not exceed their authority or breach the law or risk others to do so let me ask you something sir if you do not have RAS to demand my identity and you continue to demand my identity is that violating the law as of right now, like I explained to you, <clears throat> going inside, recording inside the computer and stuff, which you is a will, violation of You data will find it laws. is not. I am to create I it. I told you not to be recording, and you zoomed in onto my computer. Well, I actually zoomed in far, far before you so, asked anything of me. Way, I you told also you to stop contacted and you me. You did not stop. Did you touch me? So I told you to stop. Did you I make physical contact me. with me? I reached out. Are to you aware that that's assault? Me. Okay. That I'm is simple battery. With you. Then am so, I free to go? Do you have an idea with you? I do. Okay. Can I always it, no, you may not. I'll just get all of my supervisor and I'll see you. Maybe he'll oh, educate you. Do you really have to be so rude? When my rights were violated and I was assaulted by somebody who was sworn to uphold my constitutional rights, I get pretty upset, sir. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that you don't know my rights or care about my rights and you want to try and use tools of intimidation to take my rights away from me. I'm not going to have it. Take any rights away from Are you demanding my ID? I am asking for Am I free to go? Just hang on real quick. Am I free to go? I said hang on. Am I being detained? I already answered that question for you. And what crime do you suspect of me to be committing? Have committed or am about to commit? What? Law. You, you're being very quiet here, Mr. Nygaard. You understand what I'm doing here, don't you? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <sighs> Mind you, folks, this is day two. And we've already got a cop who's addicted to identification. God, man, it's like crack to these people. Morning squads. License plates. Everybody was very polite. Oh, we got state popo, look at this. Look at this. Despite the officer's attempts to intimidate, the auditor stood his ground and let the cops know about his rights. No, he just keeps following me around with his phone. I'm in public, sir. It. So. C. Yeah. Hawkinson, tyrant in charge. Yeah. Oh, you're coming here? Okay. All right, yeah, if you want to talk with them and deal with it, that'll be great. I wish to be free to go. Well, if you want to leave, 
I wish to be free from your detention, sir. Even though this officer tells the auditor he is free to leave, that also means he's free to stay if he chooses, and he makes this clear by continuing to film into vehicles for a little longer. However, unlike this auditor, the next takes a slightly louder approach. Yeah, and don't violate people's civil rights and don't murder any unarmed citizens today and don't steal my dog. Auditor Sean Porter was exercising his constitutional right to film in public when this happened. No, you just can't block the traffic, right? Hey, it's a crosswalk. You're the second cop to stop and try and yell at me for being in a crosswalk and exercising a constitutionally protected right. Dude, and yeah, and don't violate people's civil rights and don't murder any unarmed citizens today and don't steal my dog and don't beat your wife and don't jerk off too much because it makes you go blind. Are we even now? Or do you want to give more directives I'm not going to listen to? I know the law. Don't fuck with me. You see me breaking the law, come with me. Other than that, why don't you mind your business? Police officers do not involve themselves in matters of free speech. It's not your job. I'm not committing any crimes. No, you did. You told me to stay out of the street. Well, I'm going to be in the street every time I'm allowed to. Do you understand? Do you want? You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Have a nice day. You're dismissed. Bye bye. You want some? You're dismissed. Goddamn pig. Sean made sure to stand up for his rights and made the officer retreat in a minute. That's definitely one way to handle confrontation with the police. You can't do that, okay? Says who? Says me. Uh, who are you? I don't know. This confused officer is from the Portland police station and this auditor has already stumped him on quite a simple question. So the rest of his interaction has got to be good. Uh, who are you? Huh? Who are you? I don't know. What are you, what are you doing? You what don't know who? Are you taking close up pictures of the inside of the car? can't do that, okay? Says who? Says me. Uh, who are you? I don't know. Well then, okay, you get lost. Be, you cannot be taking pictures of the inside of these cars. Watch me. Okay. You cannot be taking pictures of the inside of the cars. Who okay. are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You come over here all big tough guy? Hey, you can't be taking pictures of inside Says the Says who? Says me, it's a police car, okay? And you, who are you? I'm a sergeant, okay? I'm a supervisor. Yeah? Okay, yeah. And? 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 And you can't be here And you that. can get lost. It doesn't work that way, my friend. How does that work? Hey. What? You gonna get in my face like we'll, this? We'll find something else. You think you're gonna intimidate me? I'm always intimidating you, man. You then what's the problem? I don't know. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. You can over here, old tough guy. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. you there was no problem. What am I doing? You can't be taking pictures of inside. Says who? Says me. What law? I don't know. Exactly. So yeah. get lost, tough guy. Let's see how this auditor handles the unlawful questioning by the cops, who themselves appear to be unaware of the laws they supposedly protect. Guy, <laughs> taking pictures of the. Yeah. Inside of the vehicles that are public property, I'm on the public sidewalk taking pictures of everything that is open, visible from my eyes, okay? Which is First Amendment protected activity and oh, the top oh, guy shows up here take, and tells me I can't take pictures. Taking pictures of the inside of the car is that's... Is, oh, is that you too? A... You want to get on my case too about taking pictures? I'll be out at... Uh, Watson? Dude. Dude. And you? Dude. Words, Edwards? Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something okay. like that. Okay. What are you doing taking pictures of What am I doing taking pictures? What's the problem you can't taking take your pictures? pictures of the inside of the vehicles on the computer. What law is that? What am I breaking? I don't know. That's called private property. You can't you That's can't, that's you, private property? Come here. You can't come here, Sergeant. You can't take a picture. Come here, Sergeant. Come here. Come here. I'm good. What it says over here. What does it say? I don't know. What does it say? You don't know how to read? Any of you guys know how to read? What's your goal, sir? What do you need to do? So I was minding my own business. This guy comes over here, gets in my face, and, no, you and gives me unlawful directives. So, hey, sir, can you understand why we may be... I don't need to understand anything. Well, I'm gonna Things take an interesting turn here, when the officers struggle to say something to the auditor when he starts teaching them about the civil rights. Whose responsibility to protect confidential it information? Is, is Whose responsibility? It's it's reasonable Great. To ask for is it your responsibility to protect confidential okay. information? Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So next time when a, when a law-abiding citizen inspects his own property, your property. and you're my servant, that's oh. my property. That's your property. Everything that's on you, my property, except your personal effects. Okay. This building, my property. Okay. This vehicle, my property. You all, 
you, 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 every one of you work for me. I tell you what to do. I tell you how to do it. I pay your wages. That's right. And you answer to me. So when you get on my case, being a law-abiding citizen, quiet. I'm not talking to you. Quiet. When, when I'm a law-abiding citizen and you get in my face and you start threatening me and you call your bobbies out here, assuming that I'm a, a criminal because you intend to do something against me, guess what? What are you going to do? You're going to get a piece of my action. What are you going to do? My freedom of speech. Now you're All of us have a now lot of things we need to Get do. back to your job. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. We are here until Who called you? are not here. So Who called you? On? What do you want? Who called you? With his remarkable knowledge of the law, the guy skillfully pointed out the officer's errors and guided them through their legal responsibilities. This just shouldn't be happening to police. It's not like you see the general public trying to tell tradesmen how to do their jobs. We need to do better than this. You need to not point your camera inside of police vehicles and record information off of our computers. According to whom? Don't do it. According to whom? That's it. According to whom? Sir, what law is that? Okay. It, it, what law is that sir. giving an ORS code that tells me that tells me that I am not lawfully allowed to look at anything that my eyes can see on a public sidewalk? Okay. What law is that? We are going to leave and we understand that you are not going to point inside of cameras. Unless and I'm breaking the law, computers. you can take your orders. You stay on public property. You stay out of a roadway. You understand? You stay out of the roadway. I'm protesting at this point, so I will stand wherever the hell I want. Get lost. That's how you should have reacted in the first place. You come out here and you harass me, a law-abiding citizen, that's the reaction you're going to get. Servants, get lost. The officers were put back in their place by the auditor and surely learned a lesson on the law. They, they can say it all, all they want to, but do I have to? And what law is that? What law is it? Yeah. I'll get, I'll get. Yep. This First Amendment auditor was taking pictures of the UMB bank in Ferguson, Missouri, when two police officers arrived and confronted him. What's up, boss? What you doing, boss man? I'm doing a story about the bank here. Huh? I'm doing a story. Who are you with? Where? Uh, myself. <laughs> All right, but that's kind of weird. You filming the bank with no newscast. I got camera going too, my man. Yeah, facing recording. that way. Okay, you still be recording. Okay, so what well, you filming for? Uh, just personal stuff. That ain't, that ain't how this works. <laughs> what you mean? You filming for personal stuff? Yeah. You can't film the bank. You can't film the bank, boss man. What law is that? Well, first off, it, uh, they don't know if you're casing the building. They don't want exactly. you to film them. They can say they don't want you to film them. They, they, can, say they can say it all, all they want to, but do I have to? And what law is that? What law is it? Yeah. I get, I get. Yeah. When you bring me a law, then. <laughs> the officers couldn't name one law the auditor was breaking, and to make matters worse, Officer Karen decided to join in. I mean, you can't sue them the worst, though. <laughs> right, well, that sounds, that's kind of abnormal, right? right. Uh, I mean, what is reason. not normal is not you illegal. Have a, you have an account so. here at the bank? Uh, I don't want to give that information out. Exactly. So, right. right. So, you're saying for personal reasons, that, that don't make sense. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh. That's just like if I was standing in front of your house, family. I mean, you can do that. You wouldn't feel funny? No. standing out there? No. Come on now. Here, call baby. Here, call baby. No, I, I definitely won't do that. <laughs> you do this often? Are you a blogger? A what? A blogger. What is that? Uh, well, you don't do it if you don't know. No, I don't know what that oh, is. I do like stories. I gather information and I okay. do uh, journalist stories about uh, the facilities I go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you work for like a newspaper or something? Uh, no, I, I'm free, free press. Yeah, correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. You stay out here? Uh, I don't want to answer that question. You, why is that? You, you shut I mean, you're getting real personal. Quick. You're getting, no, you're getting real personal. No, that's not personal when we got called here to investigate something. Oh, right? okay, okay. Just like you're doing your investigation, right? Right, right. yeah, I'm doing okay, investigation. so that's either yes or no. You 
about her? Uh, I don't want to answer that question. The officer goes to sit in her patrol car when the auditor decides to film it, which once again is within his constitutional rights. However, the officers don't like this action. No, 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 hey, no, you can't no, do that. No, can't do we that. got, yeah, you really can't film us. We got a computer there. We got Sir, I can, personal information. I, I, I can film you. Your, the cat's not even. Bro, back up. Back up. Back up. The cat, the cat isn't back even up, open. bro. Back up. The cat isn't back open. Up. Back up. Back up. Back up. No, no, sir. No, thank you. Sir, what's your name? You don't want to get that either? Yeah, I'll get my name. What's it's Good name? Citizen. Good Citizen? Yeah. You just don't want to be cooperative, huh? What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> we, he asked you to stand back and you still trying to film in there. That's not right. Why, why is don't it Don't you want somebody to cooperate with you when you doing something? Come Ma on I'm not doing... It's about legality, though. That's everything I'm doing... The legality everything I'm doing of that, you legal. can't film inside that car. Have you, do you know what prior restraint is? Do you know what plain view doctrine is? Okay, that ain't plan view. You went up in there to look in there. I'm it not in the in car. Plan. You have the camera. <laughs> Anything there. I can see from public, I can look. You didn't film. see that for the public. You I'm not out camera. in public. I'm not on the you public see, sidewalk. No, you saw you put that with the camera. Yeah, the public can okay. <laughs> anything I can see with my eyes, You're I can film. Gonna... The auditor knew his rights. The cops, however, didn't seem to be quite aware of the laws at hand, as the female officer proceeded to take it to the next level. No, I know how it goes. I know exactly okay, how it goes. Okay. Why is he blocking the sidewalk? He's impeding my way. I'm gonna go around here. No, we wait, wait, wait. We want, we talk, we're talking to you. Am right I being now. detained right now? We're talking to Am you. Am I being detained? If I'm not being yeah, detained, yeah. I'm free. You've been you yeah, right now. you are being you are. detained. And, and what crime do you have? Because what you reasonable, called. articulable? Uh, that, that, your, that's not reasonable, articulable that is, suspicion of that a crime, is suspicious. though. No, it's not. Filming, you out here filming. Filming itself, a bank. the Supreme Court already ruled that, filming itself cannot be deemed as suspicious. Okay. Well, so, so am I still detained? Yes, Illegally? Sir. All right, guys, you heard it. She said I was uh, detained legally, so I'm going to start my timer. It's approximately 1.15. Could I have your name and badge numbers, by the way? I have a badge number. Could I have why your name and ID number? Why everybody think you have a badge number? Employee number, ID number, badge number. You filming, right? What, what's your name, please? Can you verbalize it as per your policy? See it right here? Can you verbalize it as per your policy, please? You know our policies, but you don't know the policy. Could I have so. your name and uh, badge number, please? I don't have a badge number. Can I have your name and employee identification number, EIN number? I don't have an EIN number. <laughs> you have to have some type of number. What's your rank? What's your rank? Are you the supervisor? I don't have no stripes. I mean, you have you have five stars though. That don't mean I'm a supervisor. Oh, it means something, because yeah. he doesn't have anything. <laughs> His might be hidden. Nah. Five years of service. Yeah, that's years. Five service. years of service. Okay. No, that's not five years. Oh, you said how many years of service? You want you want to talk to us, ask us for information, but you don't want to answer. Correct. What's your name? What's your name and badge number? Brown. 747. Brown 747. So you do have badge number. Oh, that's not, not his badge, badge number. So what is it? It's a that's what? Not his badge I number. just gave it to you. It's an employee identification number. That's how I ID you. <laughs> you got me. Huh? Yeah, as long as you stay right here. That's what, doing. that's what I've been doing. And but they don't really want them videotaping them, but they ain't telling me to do. Oh, oh, oh. But he has this. They don't want them on their property. Could I have your name and badge number? My name and badge number? Yeah. My name is Glover. My badge number is 682. All right. Yeah, badge yes, he does. Oh, so, what, so what do you it's have? The DSN, DSN department serial number. Ooh. <laughs> All, <laughs> All right, good Mr. Goodson. You're free to leave. Thank you. I appreciate have a it. Day. Yes, you too. Man. Okay. You, you now, don't want to. Come on, April. You don't want to okay. ID yourself, though? Everybody else did it. Come on, be professional. I'm, I'm, it's about professionalism. Why you be professional Be me? professional, because you're the name? public servant. You're I'm not. public, too. You're a servant. <laughs> I'm a private citizen, man. You told us you're doing service for the community, I'm a private right? citizen in okay. public, but you're My public service. My name is Meriwether. Nice to meet you. Okay, yes. and nice to meet you, A Mr. good citizen. citizen. Yes, oh, good, good citizen. citizen. Yes. Okay, good citizen. I know, he don't want to get going like that. That means you're not credible, man, huh? Huh? I'm not what? That means you're not credible. Oh, everything I do is credible. No, you just lied to me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. That, don't that fall under that credibility? It falls under the First Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, guys. And just like that, the illegal detainment came to an end. The officers finally realized that he was violating no state policies and was good to go. Thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you think about the longer length and please don't forget to subscribe to Audit the World for more. It really helps us out more than you may think. Stay safe.